In this video, we will complete the certificate of organization to register a domestic limited liability company in business filing services. A domestic Pennsylvania business is one that is formed in Pennsylvania. To get started, go to hub.business.pa.gov. If you do not have a username and password, pause the video and create one now. Please refer to the registering for a user account in the Business Hub Help Guide at the top of the page. When you are ready, enter your username and password and click log in. From the dashboard, click the Business Filing Services icon. Once in Business Filing Services, click Forms on the left side of the screen. Click Certificate of Organization Limited Liability Company and click File Online. Review the information at the top of the page. When you are ready, select your LLC subtype. You can find the definitions and requirements for each subtype using the links and in the information at the top of the page. In this video, I will be forming a standard limited liability company. Select yes or no to indicate whether a name reservation was previously filed. For this video, I will select no. If you did have any reservation, you would select yes and select the reserved name from the drop down box. Once you make your selection, the LLC name box will appear. Enter the name once and then again to confirm. Do not forget to include a designator such as company, limited, limited liability company, or any abbreviation thereof. For the pur purposes of this video, I will use LLC. After entering the name, if the box turns green, the name is available for use in PA. If it turns red, it is not available for use. Unless you have consent to use the name, you will need to pick a different name before proceeding. Make sure you do not use a business name that contains a restricted word unless you have the necessary approval. For more information and a list of restricted words, click the Help button at the top right of the screen. Indicate whether consent to use the name is required or not required. If the previous boxes are green, consent is not required because the name is available. If the box is red and you have consent to use the name, then you should choose the second option and upload the consent form. Since the boxes are green, consent is not required. Indicate whether you want the filing to be effective upon submission or effective at a future date. If you select effective upon submission, when the filing is approved, the effective date will be the date you submit this form. If you select a future date, it will be effective on that date. You cannot use a date in the past. For this video, I will indicate the filing will be effective when, the, when filed with the Department of State. The last step on this page indicates whether you'd like to receive email notifications or notifications via mail. For this video, I will receive notifications via email. After, after you select the option to receive notifications via email, click add to input your email address, then click save. Then click next step. On the next screen, start by entering a description of your business activity. The, the description must be a specific statement. Statements such as any and all lawful purposes or all lawful activities are not sufficient. For this video, I will be filing for a consulting business.
enter the first and last name as well as the address for the person who will be responsible for filing initial tax reports. You already have an EIN, enter it now. If you do not, leave it blank since it is not a required field. For this video, I will leave it blank. In the next two fields, enter your tax year or fiscal year end date. A fiscal year is a period that a company or government uses for accounting purposes and preparing financial statements. For tax purposes, the Internal Revenue Services allows companies to be either calendar year taxpayers or fiscal year taxpayers. For this video, we will be a calendar filer, so I will input 1231. If you were a fiscal filer, you would input the month and day your fiscal year ends, for example, 531, 630, or 731. Click next step. On the next screen, select one of the following two options. The address of this limited liability company's proposed registered office in this Commonwealth is, and then enter your business or home address. This address must be a physical Pennsylvania address. A PO box without a street address is not sufficient. Click next step. The next screen is the organizer screen. An organizer is a person that acts to form a limited liability company. Person is defined to include a corporation, partnership, limited liability company, business trust, other association, government entity other than the Commonwealth, a state, trust, foundation, or natural person. The organizer cannot be the entity that is being formed. In other words, the entity cannot form itself. Organizers are not owners, although an owner, owner can be an organizer. However, an organizer can also be a third party like an attorney, CPA, or filing service company. For this video, I will list myself as the organizer. To do so, click add. Input your name and address and click save. If there are multiple organizers, add each one, one at a time. If the organizer is another entity, click add, and then click the checkbox next to this entity is an organization. Enter the organization name and address and click save. Once all organizers are entered, click next step. If you have attachments, upload them now. In most cases, there will be nothing that is required to be attached. For this video, I have no attachments. Click next step. If you are a veteran or reservist, your filing fee is waived. Check the box and upload the necessary verification. You can see what documents are accepted by clicking the help button located at the top right of the screen. For this video, I am not a veteran. Review the fees for the following and approved payment methods. Select whether you want standard processing or expedited processing. For this video, I will select standard processing. Click next step. Verify that all the information you've entered is correct.
when you are ready for the next step. Read the statements and click to verify that you understand each declaration. Type your name in the signature box and enter today's date by clicking the Today button. Make sure the File Online option is selected and click File Online. Finally, click Pay with Credit or Debit Card and complete your payment. After paying, you'll receive a submission confirmation and the filing will now show up in my business work queue. This concludes our video. If you still need assistance, please reach out to the business one-stop shop at 833-722-6778 or at business.dced at pa.gov. All right.